In this lesson, we're going to modify some of these faces to create different types of facial expressions so that we can have a model sheet for our character. All right, so I'm gonna start with this character over here on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm just going to erase the top part of the eyes right here. And what I wanna do is sort of create a furrowed brow which will allow me to very quickly communicate that this character is angry. So I'm just going in and just making a few edits here. There we go. So now we sort of have, just by changing the angle of the, the lines at the top of the eyes, we can show that this character is angry. Now we can go further with this. We can modify this by sort of making the mouth go down a little bit and we can show that he's really angry. If we want to show the character was like devious or evil, we might take the same drawing right here. I can just copy and paste. And this time we can erase here. We can go up, we can make him sort of smile, but the combination of the smile with the furrowed brow means that he's planning something He's like the, the villain, okay? All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna have the character be shocked. So I'm gonna take the, the eyes here and I'm gonna make the pupils smaller. And then maybe I'll take the mouth and I'm just going to open up the mouth a little bit here. And by doing this, we can show that the character is shocked or surprised. So we're not doing a whole lot here. We're just changing a few little details on the face and we get a much different emotion for the character. All right, let's go over here and let's make our character sad. I'm gonna bring the eyes down in the other direction from angry and we get sadness, All right, okay. So we'll just curve that a little bit, connect this line. And if we want to make the character more sad, we can curve this down and really intensify the sadness right there. All right, let's do happy. All we have to do to make this character happy is take the uh, mouth here and just put in a little smile. And we have a little subtle, a nice, happy, not crazy happy, just content. And then if we want to go really happy, what we can do is we can close the eyes, right? We can sort of have the eyes be closed like this and then take the mouth and we'll open up the mouth, maybe show some teeth. Bring that around. Right? And then we have like a different state of happiness. Maybe a little bit more exaggerated. Right, so we've got sort of content uh, and then we've got like really happy right here. So the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna make our character look tired. And all I have to do is close the eyes like halfway. So we just bring those eyelids down and now our character is getting sleepy. They're exhausted. They don't have a lot of energy, right? And then over here, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do sort of a silly face. Like maybe the person is like bewildered or confused. And I'm gonna make the character sort of cross-eyed. like so, bring the eyes together and I'm going to extend the mouth and I'm gonna have the tongue, maybe have the tongue stick out like this. And the character is sort of like confused or lost, bewildered, something like that. So just by changing just a few lines on the face, we can have all kinds of different emotions so that uh, we can tell a story based on how the character is feeling. 
So if you ever get confused, what you can do is just draw in a, a smiley face, right? And you can say, well, if the eyebrows are up and this, this, the, we've got that half circle going this way, or they're happy, uh, this is sad, you can bring the eyebrows down a little bit, right? And then you have a whole range in between. If they're angry, you do the eyebrows this way, right? Right? So you just go back to those smiley faces and build from that point, transfer that information onto your more complex cartoon character and it still reads really well. All right, that's just a quick lesson for today. Um, take those expressions and put them onto your cartoon character designs and see what happens.